Hey everyone and welcome to the Retro Channel and as you can see it is quite a mess at the moment. Uh, recently a friend of mine contacted me because he was trying to get better video output from his Coco One and seeing as I'd done an S video mod back in Septandy um, I thought I could help out but before I did that I wanted to redesign the S video circuit that I originally did because to be honest, it was fairly complicated and some of it was kind of unnecessary. So I've simplified that circuit um, and we'll take a look at that shortly. But before we do that, let's go and say a friendly g'day to Jace, aka Mr. Lurch. And just a warning, warning the audio is not perfect in this next segment. Uh, it turns out two guys standing around a bench with a clip on mic on it doesn't make for the best sounding audio quality, but it's it's not terrible, it's just not perfect. So anyway, let's go. So this here is my Coco One, which has given me grief since the day I got it. I've never been able to get a particularly good video out of it, regardless of what like composite mod I tried or whatever. But you have bought me this. Yes, this is a little S-Video adapter, which is gonna take the place of the original RF modulator. So it is scaled for that size. And we're gonna stick it in and see what it does. See what it does. Right, so the first job's going to be pull the old RF modulator out. So let's get started with that. Right, so being my Coco that's kind of been floating around for ages, none of the screws are in it. Um, but that's fine. That's It'll make life easier this time round. Yes. Um, oh, there's actually one of my old composite mods. That can go on eBay. Right. Uh, keyboard out very carefully, disconnect the power supply without shorting anything out. It is unplugged. <laughs> right, good. And that should lift out. Just lift out. Get awesome. this out of the that way. Can go out of the way. Let me grab my desoldering gun and we'll go for gold. Right, probably one of my least favourite jobs because there's always a ton of solder on these things. Let's disconnect some wires. Right. There's a whole blob of solder on top on this side, so I'm going to start there with some wick. Uh, okay. Right, uh, flip it over. Tabs out. One, yeah. two. It's moving. It's moving. Aha! Doubt. Go away. That'll also go on eBay. <laughs> That'll also go on eBay. Probably shouldn't have done that, but anyway. Um, and the holes all look pretty clean. Right. Cool. So that's that. Turn that noisy thing off. So we take this guy and you've lined up these pins so they should actually just drop into those holes we just cleared, right? They should. They should. You, you, you. Um, we're just going to have to trim a little bit off this corner. Watch me shatter the perf board. <laughs> Ah, uh, the other thing that we should worry about mm -hmm. is what's underneath where the RF modulator was, because we don't want to short anything. Ah, uh, there's bits. And... Yeah, because there's nothing under that perf board. Uh, okay, we can fix that. Right, that at least covers off all the important bits. So now, this with the pins underneath, just pop into the old mounting points and thus also grab an earth. Line up, damn you. Yep. Uh, yep. 
Righto, so we just solder those in. We do. Okay, well that's enough. That will do. Right, so that's that. Um, and you reckon that lines up with the old... I hope so. I hope so. We we'll, will find out. We'll find out in a minute. So these wires here all join up to the mixing chip, the 1372. Uh, well, we don't have ground anymore, so that's nice. Yeah, one less thing to deal with. One uh, less thing to deal so with. What? I did label power as the red, which yep. was a good idea. Yep. Uh, so that's pin 11. Uh, so 14, 13, 12, 11. Yep. And hey, look, all the legs on this chip are pretend because I've screwed around with composite mods like a million times. Right. Uh, what was yellow? Yellow is our Luma. Which and that's is the pin next nine. So pin, skip a pin. Skip a pin. Yep. Yeah, and, and then that just leaves orange as our chroma. Pin okay. eight. Pin eight. That's it. So that's it. That is done. Righto. Um, so I'll just get rid of that. That's the old wire for composite. Uh, and I think I'm going to turn these two, which were my old composite mod, into dual mono stereo, but I'll do that another day. Okay. Let's, let's put it back together and let's put it back together it. and see how we go. Right. Monitors all plugged in. We've got power to the cocoa. And there we go. And that's way better than I ever got a composite signal out of this thing. That is actually usable. Very cool. Let's just see how the other colors look. That's white. Buff. Buff. Pink. Uh, what was eight? Orange. Orange. And magenta, I guess yeah. you could call it. No, oh, it's missing. Brown. Brown? <laughs> you, is there a color I don't think there is a brown. That no, yellow. That's a yellow. That's a yellow. Uh, yeah. But yeah, okay. That's um that's a lot better than I've ever had out of this old thing. Very cool. Cool. One thing that you probably noticed is the keyboard. But well, this keyboard's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you can put you can put a beep in there. Yeah. It's terrible. What I have as it just so happens. Ooh. A replacement. All right. It's, it's, it's not perfect. It's but not it's, perfect. It's better than this. It's better than chicken. that. Uh, all right. So we'll power off. Uh, you take, take that. that. Go on the chair. Go on the chair. Um, uh, yeah, Ed. That can go on eBay as well. Uh, let's plug you in. All right. Much it's better. It's a proper keyboard. <laughs> Woohoo! Sweet. Now we've got a proper keyboard, S video. You've got your audio mono output that I'll do whatever with. Yep. Very nice. And the finishing touch. Put the cover back on it. Nice. Like a glove. I now have a very nice Coco 1, which will probably sit on the shelf because I've got a Coco 3. Yes. Shh. 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 Don't tell anyone. So I think that all worked out fairly well. Um, yeah, like I said, let's have a look at the circuit and see what changes have been made. Now, this circuit that I've redesigned is loosely based off the S video mod from AC's 8 bit zone. Uh, he did a mod not too long after I did the first one, um, but his was a bit more simplified and made a bit more sense. So I've taken that and just tweaked a few things um, that gave me a better video output. So I'll also put a link to that schematic down below. Uh, I honestly don't plan on building a PCB for this because some people want to install it to replace their RF modulator. Some people might just want to have it as an addition to the RF modulator. Um, and a lot of Coco cases these days tend to have big whopping holes in the back where somebody's 
done a composite mod or whatever. So um, I've tried to keep the circuit as simple as possible so that pretty much anyone can build it with a bit of perf board and some simple components. So I did do some comparisons between each of the mods. Um, I started out with just the original composite video mod from the 80s that was just uh, two transistors in an emitter follower circuit and a resistor and a capacitor. And it, it for mine, it yielded pretty decent results for, for composite video, but I have seen it look a lot worse depending on the type of display that was hooked up. Um, I'm taking all these images from a uh, old Panasonic plasma, which seems to um, get rid of some of the noise pretty well. Um, but you can see that there is a little bit of color fringing, like a sawtooth kind of pattern on the edges of some of the colors. And I mean, it's not the sharpest image in the world, but it's it's not too bad. You can also see that the, the PAL artifact color does come through. Now in PAL land, artifact color is green and purple basically you don't get those nice orange and red and blue um, artifact colors that you get in the NTSC system so because the Coco was a lot more popular in the US um, most games are designed to take advantage of that artifact color but yeah unfortunately in Powerland it just doesn't look that pretty so next up is composite video um, that's being capacitively coupled from the S-Video circuit that I built up. Uh, so there's just a 470 picofarad capacitor between the Luma and the Chroma, and then composite video is tapped from the Luma side of that capacitor. And it does actually look a lot better than the, the old composite mod, except for on the, the artifact colors, it, it sort of looked a little bit, um, a little bit noisier, uh, but definitely the that sawtooth pattern on the edges of some of the colors is pretty much non-existent. So that's pretty good for composite video. So pretty happy with that. And then finally, obviously, we've got the S video itself, which has the Luma and Chroma separated. Again, it's a little bit sharper. Um, obviously, that artifact color is completely gone and now we've just got black and white stripes because those colors are not bleeding into each other like they would in composite video. All the colors look a bit more solid, uh, especially if you look at the yellow part of this pattern, you can see that compared to both the composite video mods, uh, it is a bit more of a solid yellow. So that's probably going to do it for this video, but stick around because in the next video we're going to do a component video mod um, and obviously I'll go through the circuit for that as well. We'll also have a bit of a more in-depth look uh, using the oscilloscope at what the actual video signals look like and what this circuit does to tame them. So we'll get a bit more in-depth on the S-Video circuit and we'll also have a crack at component video uh, or YUV, whatever you want to call it, or YPBPR, all of those terms. Um, so yeah, that is coming up next. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and that notification bell. You can leave me a like, dislike, comment. Um, obviously, I love reading comments um, and I usually try and reply to all of them. So um, yeah, let me know what you thought and I will see you in the next one for some component video goodness. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay. It's on S video. It's yep. on S video. Power to the cocoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> no wait, it came good. Oh, oh, it's good. It's good. That was weird. That was weird. Um, let's do another take. Yeah.